Apparently the crap, the crap that everybody thought was impossible turns out to be possible. Um, there was on a uh, rumor site um, pictures and uh, I noticed all the comments said, Oh, that's BS. Oh, nonsense, mate. You know, um, picture supposedly, according to the photographer, they were taken in total uh, darkness of a... Uh, Pre-production prototype, uh, Nikon, supposed to be a replacement for the D750, uh, D780, I don't know what it's going to be called. Anyway, here in a few days, it's going to be Nikon's 100th anniversary. Let's first state a fact, and I'm going to tell you Nikon's secret weapon for the year uh, 2017, at least extreme high confidence. Extreme high confidence. Now, you see this camera, the Nikon D500, 20 megapixels? Yeah. Now, if you have a Nikon D500, and there are a lot of people out there that bought a D500 off my recommendation, you all are very happy, crank it up to 40,000 ISO, and then take a picture of something that you almost can't freaking see. The picture is good enough for an 8x10. You apply some decent noise reduction software. I mean, it's beautiful. That's 40,000 ISO with an Nikon D... At 40,000 ISO, and I made a video about this when the Nikon D500 came out, and I was showing people the pictures, like, you know, look at this. I can't even see what it is I'm shooting. I can't even see anything. Nothing. You know? And I'm not blind, even though I wear glasses. So on the D500, high ISO, uh, noise reduction, 80 converters, that's in our firmware is insanely good. That's the reason why this is a 20 megapixel camera. All exposure is gain and time, okay? Gain, okay? Time, gain, uh, native gain, aperture, okay? Okay, we know about that. Time, we know what time is, right? There's also uh, another native gain, and that's uh, your, your photo sites. There's a reason why the uh, full-frame Nikon uh, D5, for example, is a 20-megapixel camera. It's like, wow, you know, doesn't make any sense. It's like, yeah, if you understand what exposure is, exposure is gain in time. ISO is not part of the exposure triangle. ISO in digital photography is applied gain. In other words, after the image has already been captured, there is applied gain. That's why in professional radios there's a volume knob and there's a gain knob. Gain is input gain, okay? Volume is something else. Volume is output amplification. Gain is input amplification in very simple terms. So the secret weapon uh, for 2017 for Nikon is going to be the RGBW sensor. So apparently those images... Now listen, when I told everybody that the D500 was going to be a killer camera, they told me I was full of shit. Totally proven right. Totally proven right. Bunch of other things everybody was calling BS on me on, and I've been totally bleeping vindicated. 100%. Oh, you're so full of crap. Yeah? Who's full of crap now? Obviously, I wasn't. Now, this video is not 100% uh, uh, definitive, but I'm really good at predicting the future. No, I don't have a crystal ball. Well, actually, I do have a crystal ball over my drawer over there, but I don't use that to predict the future. I use, actually, platonic logic and a lot of other things to predict the future, so to say. Uh, it's a known fact um, that Kodak in 2007 invented the RGBW, red, green, blue, white, uh, sensor array, it's also a known fact that Sony next year is going to come out with their RGBW sensor. And apparently these are going, a certain batch of them um, are going to go to Nikon. The notion that Nikon was going to use the, uh, uh, the D5 sensor seemed to be untrue, which is fine. Um, it could be a 24 megapixel sensor. However, the photo sites would have to be sufficiently large, but no big deal. A 24 megapixel, it could be a 20 or even, you know, an 18 megapixel sensor, and people are going to scoff at that, because they scoff at the D5, not only for having an optical low-pass filter, which is something, but for uh, having a 20 megapixel sensor at full frame. But people really aren't bitching about that, so to say. But they don't understand what uh, exposure is. Exposure is gain in time. If you have gigantic eyeballs, i.e. huge photo sites on your sensor, then what that does is it gives you a huge advantage of gain. Most people realize the one gain, i.e. that little aperture. It's like, well, f1.4 is a lot better gain than f8. It's like, well, yeah, no, duh. That's lens gain. And it's all part of the actual gain of the exposure. All exposure is gain in time. ISO is not part of the exposure triangle, okay? We ain't dealing with the days of film anymore, okay? 
Um, so the other aspect of native gain, in addition to the aperture, of course, is how big the eyeballs are on your sensor, i.e. The, the photo sites. <sighs> Let's start with fact number one that I've already mentioned to you. At ISO 40,000, I can take pictures of shit I can't see. I proved that to you in a video. And if you have an Icon D500, go prove it to yourself. Go walk in the, in the living room. You know, with basically, you know, so little light you can't see a damn thing and take a picture of something at ISO 40,000. The image is perfectly usable. Um, the uh, images that were leaked about the, uh, the pre-production uh, Nikon D780 or whatever it's going to be called, um, the guy is out in the forest and he couldn't see a damn thing, he claims. And uh, he took a picture and people are just scoffing. I'm going to give you a couple links below and you're actually going to see the images um, from Kodak and uh, Sony's been testing this sensor. Kodak uh, created this technology uh, in 2007. Nikon has already applied for a patent in relationship some years ago on an RGBW sensor. I think it's the Ray. You combine the native gain of the sensor on an RGBW sensor with the AD converters and with the SNR firmware that's already existent in a Nikon. Nikon uh, high ISO uh, Noise is already king of the hill. I mean, it beats the hell out of uh, Sony, beats the hell out of Fuji and Canon. With the addition of the RGB, uh, and by the way, uh, noise is supposed to be up to four times better with the RGB uh, W sensor and 32% higher brightness and high contrast. Um, basically, it's a bare array where uh, certain pixels at arranged uh, intervals are, have been replaced with a panchromatic photosite. Panchromatic uh, pixel, photosite, pixel, pixel, photosite, whatever, same thing. Um, these sophisticated algorithms use the more sensitive panchromatic pixels to act as a luminance channel of the final image. Also, the panchromatic or white uh, photosites or pixels also do the interpolative uh, uh, signal processing uh, with the algorithms in the camera to determine adjacent uh, photo sites, which could be art, red, green, or blue, to determine their luminance values also. So the panchromatic uh, photo sites are much, much more sensitive. So apparently, we can't say for sure that those uh, leaked images that everybody was calling bullshit on, it's like, oh, that's impossible, you know? The color's too good. You know, the guy couldn't see anything. Well, I will point out to you the fact. I'll point out to you two hardcore facts that are undeniable. A, hardcore fact number one. The uh, 40,000 ISO, for example, which is as high as you can go without turning into crap, I could already shoot uh, images of shit I can't see with the D500 now. Combined with the fact, the second fact, which is hardcore and undeniable, is that the RGBW sensor is up to, as stated by the technologists who created it, four times more sensitive to insane low light conditions. So you have this, and you combine that with the RGBW sensor, and then what you have is a camera that seems like it came out of Aladdin's lamp, i.e. crazy bullshit that seems impossible. So the stuff that all these people, these, you know, these, uh, these low-brow knuckle-draggers, ah, oh, those pictures are fake. Well, it may very well be that they're absolutely not fake. And uh, I'm just about willing, just about that shy of actually hedging my life as a betting man, and I'm not a betting person at all, that that is the secret weapon uh, for 2017 for Nikon. The, uh, the high, you won't even have to crank the highest. There's already images, too, and I'll give you the, the link below. You can actually see. Um, that uh, ISO 10,000 with the RGBW sensor looks as good or even better at ISO 10,000 with the RGBW sensor as a regular bare sensor does at, say, ISO 1600. Doesn't that tell you something, you know, really effing important? The RGBW sensor looks as good or better at ISO 10,000 than the standard bare sensor looks at ISO 1600. Does that tell you something? You combine that hardcore irrefutable fact with what we already have here, okay? 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 Now see, this is a DX sensor at 20 megapixels. 
Let's do the math here, folks. 20 megapixels, you stick those uh, uh, additional 20 megapixels, you stick them on a larger sensor, larger pixel pitch, larger photo sites, better technology with not a bare sensor, but an RGBW sensor, and you're going to have a crazy ass sensor that's going to seem absolutely batshit crazy as far as high ISO, low, low noise, and. Uh, this is apparently is the secret weapon that Nikon is going to whip out on your butts next year. I also know for an absolute fact, and it's, and it's going to be 100% uh, confirmed, is that Nikon's new D780, or whatever the hell they're going to call it, is going to have uh, dual XQD card slots. They're not going to let Sony beat them on that. It's Sony's technology anyway, the uh, XQD card. We have one XQD card, an SD card, and a D7, uh, excuse me, the... Uh, the uh, Nikon D500 here, which is the buffer is already outstanding. It's already known in fact that Sony's next camera is going to have dual XQD cards. So apparently the next uh, Nikon camera is going to have dual XQD cards also, and it's going to have the RGBW sensor, and uh, it's going to take everything and it's going to put it to shame. It's going to put it to miserable shame. I mean. There won't even be anybody talking about uh, high so this will be it, and everything else will just be shit by comparison. And uh, that'll be a Nikon secret weapon for 2017. You heard it here first. That's the secret weapon for 2017. Am I 100% certain on this? No. But I'd say about 95% certain. <laughs> so, <laughs> You know, you decide, but uh, this is not based upon hearsay or conjecture. This is based upon known facts and evidence and what's already in the pipeline. And this is going to be applied to Nikon stuff next year. Well, not stuff. There's probably only going to be one camera with this. But anyway, thanks. Bye.